Stock, Matt Chapman class. Going on the sound of the buzzer. We're just going to have to change it from Stock SC to Stock MC. As Matt Chapman looks to dominate the general, retiring from short course for the time being. Letting, uh, letting Chapman bask in his glory for now. For now. Thirty seconds into this one, it is Chapman. Allen only one second behind. Chapman on his lid. Chris Allen to the point. Are we gonna have our first real upset of the night? So far, in beginner RTQ. No, it wasn't RTQ. Christian taking the win, but Christian was close. In uh, stock, RTQ took the win. In modified, RTQ took the win. In eight scale, Sportsman TQ took the win. Right now, it is Matt Chapman running in the number three spot. What up? Oh, that's easy. You're welcome. Race number six up next, Pro Four. Four-wheel drive short course. Have them ready, guys. Four-wheel short course. Have them ready. Chapman unable to find, find his way around the moose. And all that is doing is allowing Chris Allen to run away out front. I remember one night, not too long ago, Joe Grosden was able to dethrone Walnuts in stock short course. And right now, it is Chris Allen trying to dethrone Matt Chapman in stock short course. Chris Allen, though, trying to throw it away as he's stuck on a pipe. Chris Allen still with the bow. They had a nine-second lead. I'm going to say it's about five seconds now. Two minutes down and three to go. Chapman, 20.5 fastest lap. Him and Moose continue the bloodbath. It's like watching Jean-Claude Van Damme in blood sport. Down the back straightaway. Coming into the sweeper. Chapman to the inside. Moose back to the inside. Moose going for the body slam. Moose going straight for the jugular here. But Chapman now with a little bit of room. Is he going to be able to run away? Moose on a pipe. Moose back over a pipe. Go for it, Moose. All is fair in short course. 2.30 down, 2.30 left to go. Chris Allen is going to owe Moose a drink after this one. Or that, yeah. On like... I'm like, uh, what would a channel be that shows that? Nat Geo or something? Yeah. Wild police chases from the RC track. Two minutes left to go. Does Chris Allen have the mental fortitude to hang on to this victory? Chris out there in that HCI blitz with those Pro-Line B-Bots. Running to Spectrum DX 2.0 radio. Chapman on his lid. That may be the final nail in the coffin. Ward knows Chapman has been hanging himself up on the cross in this race all night anyway. Just decided to bang the nails in himself with his own forehead, I guess. Chris Allen out front. Chris Allen through. That double jump. Dropping down, stepping up. Big triple. Over the speed bumps, over the top of the hill at this point. My advice to Chris is just keep it on the wheels, and you more or less got this one. One minute left to go. Chapman with a seven-second deficit. That is a sweeper and a straightaway and that hip thingy. Chapman earlier called it the supercross wall, so we're going to go with that one. I didn't know what to call it for the longest time, but supercross wall is fitting for me. 45 seconds left to go. We might have to call this one Stock Chris Allen next time around instead. As Allen comes through the sweeper, Chapman trying to make up ground and make up ground. He is 19.8, backed up 19.7. Seven second deficit. How about a three and a half second deficit? But Chapman again on his lid. 20 seconds left to go. One more lap for Chris Allen to do the unthinkable. He was asking Chapman to sit this one out. Before it started, and well, as far as I'm concerned, Chapman did sit this one out. Matt not having the best race. 
that is time on the master clock. Matt Chapman wishing this one was done about five minutes ago. Chris Allen done and taking the win in stock short course. I can't believe it. Moose going to finish three. Dunaway going to finish five. Smith going to finish four. Chapman going to finish two. And that is a race, guys. Turn them off. Return your transponders. Come back out and turn Marshall. Race number six. You are up. 